Hello everybody, Corncob here, and this is the fourth episode of the Corncast, where I interview small YouTubers, and, um, I should have written more than that, but that's all I have for my intro. Um, today we have Megatron. Hello. And we are going to dive into the normal questions in just a second, but first off, and I actually didn't warn him about this, um, I've decided to start a little thing at the beginning of each episode where I will ask a weird, like, question and it will be answered at the end. And if you guys have any ideas for questions for yeah, future episodes, <laughs> yeah, you get, you get time to think about it. Yeah. Um, and if you guys watching or listening, I guess, have any ideas for future questions, go ahead and put those in the comments. But today's question is... Can you consider ranch a sauce? And you answer this at the end. And anybody in the comments, you can comment your answer too. Yes, now, <laughs> now we go into the actual questions. Question: The first question is, when did you start your YouTube channel? Um, I started it like two years ago in July, I think, because. Yeah, I think it was in July. Um, that's when I started this channel. But when I first started YouTube was like three years ago. And I did a live streaming channel because I just got my PlayStation. And I found out about a uh, broadcast area. Broadcast, like you could broadcast stuff. And so I just did my list broadcasts of me doing pointless stuff on games. <laughs> it didn't go too far. I ended up deleting it and then actually trying for a name because... The name of that channel was Megatron Eleven, hmm. and so I set up another another YouTube. Figured out, figured I'd actually try. Got got a got a PC, well, laptop, and then I started playing PC games. Started actually trying on my videos. Yeah, so now I'm right here. Nice. And what is your current subscriber count? Last time I checked, it was like 543. Nice. I I think I just broke 60, like, a few days ago. Man, shorts can do a lot for you. My most recent short got, like, a thousand views, which is ridiculous. <laughs> me. I, I mean, I don't post shorts often. I mean, I do not fully support shorts at all. But I started posting them, and they're, they're good at racking up views. Sadly, they don't contribute to YouTube Partnership Program. Very sad about that. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, one but one of my shorts got likes, um, hundred views. Is that that's the most? Wow, yeah. And how many videos do you have on your channel? Roughly a hundred and twenty. Wow. You've been at yeah. this for a while. <laughs> then again, mm -hmm. I have too. I don't actually. How many videos do I have? I have. Oh my, I have seventy-eight right videos. Hmm? I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. All good, all good. Um, perfect time to jump into our next set of questions. The first one, well, I guess it's not really a different set of questions, it just kind of transitions a little bit. But, um, so, like, what do you like to make videos about? That is complicated. I, I like, I want to be a variety YouTube YouTuber where I do gaming videos, but... I have an interest in animation, which I made a channel specifically for that, um, but I, I, it's just too much for me, but currently, um, my videos are about just gaming, yeah, just gaming videos, nothing too complicated. What games do you play most? Uh, mostly Dummy Nation or horror games. Dummy Nation <laughs> is just like the p most popular game on my channel. Mm. Most of, most of the time racks up a lot of views. I think I've seen a couple of videos of people playing that, but I've never played it myself, and I am <laughs> my I I'm not very good at horror games. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, most of stepping out of the line for me. I don't I don't enjoy horror very much. Mm. Um. So good content. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially, I think my main problem is that I get 
like really quiet whenever I'm in like a tense situation. I need to I need to like talk more. <laughs> <laughs> I I just scream, like <laughs> all, almost all my horror games include me screaming for at least five minutes, like all throughout the video. <laughs> um, so like, do you usually have like longer videos or shorter videos? Would you say? Uh, more shorter videos, roughly around like I try and keep them ten to. 10 to 15 minutes because I mean if you think about it people now don't have the attention span as when YouTube first started so those longer videos are not going to get fully watched which means you spend a lot of time just really not doing anything yeah yeah I know like for me if I'm if I'm telling myself, okay, I'm just going to watch one last YouTube video before bed. I know it's not going to be one last video, but I'm still going to be clicking on videos that are like 10, 12 minutes long. Not super yeah. long ones. So that's one thing yeah. I try and factor in when I'm making my videos. Um, yeah, and like, but like even myself, I mean, I, I know I don't have the attention span for something like a hour video. <clears throat> hour video. But like, I'll watch it in parts, like I'll watch 20 minutes and just some segments of it. Yeah. If I'm playing, like, Tetris at the same time, I can absolutely watch those super long videos, but I, I if I'm watching just the video, I, yeah, I have to break it up into chunks, too. Yeah. Unless it's something really interesting. Yeah, that's true. Or, like, a story about something, kind of. Like, yeah. a long process. Yeah, and if it's something history-related, I'm, I'm hooked into it. <laughs> History can be interesting. It can History be boring, but it can also best. be interesting. <laughs> Preferably, um, world history and medieval times is my my preferred area. I like learning, like not necessarily about historical events, but about like the cultures and like the daily life of like ordinary people. Like, what did they do? What did they wear? Why did they wear what they wore? Stuff like that. Yeah, interests me. So, um, how often would you say you upload videos? I, tr I try and do two videos and one live stream a week, but that live stream <laughs> has not been happening very often. But that, for like a month, I could do that two videos a week. Most of the time it would be one Friday, one Saturday, or Saturday or Sunday, and then I do a live stream that week and like Wednesday. Mm. Good for I'm you, man. To... I've, I, I would struggle <laughs> with more than one video a week. I actually do struggle with one video a week sometimes, but yeah, I um, usually, I usually make it. <laughs> for me, it's just motivation to do videos now. Yeah. Like once you start it, you get a motivation. It's just getting that jump start. Yeah, like once. Once I actually sit down and like open OBS and record something, then I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna make the thumbnail, and I'm gonna like make a description and all that. But then when I'm just sitting there and I haven't started at all, it's so hard. <laughs> yeah, and but like what I find even more motivational, like, especially when I do horror games, is after I record them, I just love editing them because then I hear the screams and the stupidity coming out of my mouth. I'm like. <laughs> Don't act like that. Why? Why, why, why did I say that stuff? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> There's so much stuff that I cut out. So it's like, oh my gosh, why did I say that? That's not even funny. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite things to edit are group videos. Because, yeah, like, find... those are, like, I'll find myself just sitting there and laughing as I'm watching through the video editing it. <laughs> yeah, collab videos are definitely very fun to edit. And, like, whenever I record a sky, I mean, I laugh 90% of the time when editing. Yeah. It's fun. Um, speaking of recording with other people, <laughs> I guess this is, this is, uh, like, who, like, do you, do you collab with other people super often? Um... To kind of, um, <laughs> no, probably 
before during October because of those scary games I collabed every almost every video. Mm. But um I collab a lot. Probably yeah, I'd say I'd say I collab a lot. Other than Sky, who I'm guessing is your most collabed with, who who do you yeah. make videos with the most? This guy is like the only person I've ever collabed with. Oh, <laughs> uh, one time I collabed with Coppet and Magma Muffin with Sky for my, I think it was my one year, no, one or two year anniversary on YouTube. Huh. And, yeah. Uh, that's like, I think that's the only other collab. Apart from my old videos, whenever I would play games with my cousin. Ah. It's pretty much, yeah, Minecraft mostly. But I, I don't collab with a lot of people, and I don't do group groups very well. Like, mm. I, I prefer just like one, one, two to three people if I'm doing collabs. Yeah. Most of, most of it's just social anxiety for me. Definitely, if it's, like, a huge group, then it's, like, hard to even interact with everybody, like, in a yeah. collected, organized way. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, if I'm recording one, I'm, like, um, I'm not getting enough talking for me to do. So I end up just getting, I'm just deleting my recordings oh. of collabs, and I get questions, on, and then I'm, like, wouldn't let me talk. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is probably your favorite video that you've made? Not necessarily that's gotten the most views or anything, but like your f maybe the one that you're most satisfied with. That's a good question. Um, maybe proud is better than satisfied. Yeah, pr most proud of. Proud of is probably... Probably one of my latest videos, um, my first Boolean conquest on Domination, or one of my, um, either one of my tutorials, or whenever I played, um, Roblox. I don't have a, I don't really, I don't really have one where I can say, you know, that's like my favorite, that's my most proud of. Because I'm proud of a lot of videos I do, like, I, I get shocked at how many, you know, likes, views, and the viewer retention. Yeah. So, but it would have to be one of those, like, oh, maybe my 200 subscriber special when I do World Box. Mm. Or, like I said, my latest, uh, not my latest, but my first conquest of Boolean. <laughs> yes, I named that, named that nation. <laughs> <laughs> um have you made any series um yes i have um i think if you, i don't know if you'd consider this a series but um on my i have a i had a minecraft series of survival but then I got my, I, my new PC in that world deleted, so that, oh. that series is gone. But yeah, I have a few series. Um, Minecraft World, Let's Plays. Um, and then sometimes if I last long enough to uh, and survive and domination, I can create a series. Longest I've gotten is like three videos, though, and then I just get destroyed. <laughs> um. yeah, I, I suck at that game. <laughs> Do you, of those series you've made, do you have, like, a favorite one? Or I guess, you know, one you're most proud of? Like, the last question, but what series? Well, uh, like, my, I think it's my latest Minecraft series. The one that the world sadly got deleted, or oh. lost. Very mad about that, too, because I, I was doing pretty good. Mm, that sucks. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I was I was really worried my, that my computer got bricked. Turned out it was just a problem with my monitor, which I'm really glad about. <laughs> like the computer yeah. is perfectly fine. Actually, it might even might not have even been the monitor. It might have just been the HDMI cord. But I might do some testing with that later. But I have a different monitor at least for the moment. I've had problems like that, and I found out it was my microphone that did it. 
JLab must not really like my monitors. Huh. Or laptops, because I use the JLab on laptops. No, I mm. use my blue snowball. My mic is like... I just got like the cheapest one I could find on Amazon that had good reviews. <laughs> so... I have, it's... I have a more of expensive taste. Mine was like $50. <laughs> Mine was like 20 something bucks. So... <laughs> Yeah, but um, I try and get ones that have reviews on, like, long-lasting, so I know it's going to definitely be worth my money. Yeah, yeah. I I looked into the reviews for sure before I bought anything. And it was also on, like, some kind of sale, too. I think normally it was, like, 30-something bucks, which isn't much better than 20, but, you know. Every penny counts. Yeah, honestly, though. Uh, So what was the like, inspiration or background behind your channel name? Oh, my channel name? Um, so, the background of it is growing up, I mean, I I, Transformers. I mean, like, I had the whole, um, original series, like, all the DVDs, all the CDs. I'm, growing up, Transformers was my, my thing. And the main bad guy in that is Megatron. Mm-hmm. And so, and yeah, so my gamer game tags and stuff uh, always revolve around Megatron. Because huh. he's just, he's like my favorite character. <laughs> I've, I've watched some of the, like, original Transformers series. Um, we have, like, the, a box set of it at my house. So I've, I've watched, like, m- I think I've watched all the first season and, like, some of the second season. And one of my favorite, like, m- moments that I saw was at one point, like, they're... The Megatrons... And Megatrons. The Autobots and the Decepticons, like, on opposite cliffs. And probably Optimus Prime, like, hits, um... Megatron. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I mixed up characters, but yeah, he he hits Megatron, and then as soon as, like, he falls over, he doesn't even, like, fall off the cliff, he falls over, and Starscream? I can't remember if that's actually his name or not, which is slightly embarrassing, but he, you'll know who I'm talking about when I say what he says. He goes, oh, uh, Megatron has fallen, I'm the leader now, or something, and, like, Starscream, that's Starscream, right. yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that that series was great, and I even loved I loved the cartoon movie that they made of that. I don't think and I've seen just... I've seen some of the like live action movies, but I don't think I've seen any of any cartoon movies of it. The cartoon movie is like three times better than any of the live actions. I've seen. <laughs> Although the one with um, oh I can't remember um. I don't remember which one. It wasn't Age of Extinction. It was before that. Um, but it's where the. What was his name? But um, it was the same character, and it's where he was like Bumblebee was like his transformer. Mhm. Um, in that movie, that one was actually a pretty good movie. Yeah, yeah, I've watched that one. I've watched some like the sequels to it. I didn't think they were as good <laughs> as as the first yeah. one. Definitely not. Um, so, uh, why did you start YouTube? <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, like, I seen all these people creating him, like. That looks fun. <laughs> I, if I, yeah. And it, like, <laughs> if I can do this, if they can do it, surely I can do it. And then it started, you know, I didn't do very good at, at first, but then, then this channel rolled along and then my first dummy nation video hit and then boom. Nice. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much why I started YouTube too. <laughs> yeah, and one of the role models I like, one of my role models was Dan TDM. Oh yeah. Like, Dan, if Dan, if you didn't want Dan TDM, I mean, like, what are you doing on YouTube? <laughs> I honestly didn't watch a whole lot of Dan TDM, but I definitely watched the occasional video. Dan I... TDM is my childhood creator. <laughs> 
it's kind of funny. I actually didn't watch, like, growing up, I actually didn't watch a whole lot of Minecraft YouTubers. Like, at least not a whole lot of the mainstream ones, you know? Like, if you like, Captain Sparkles, um, any of, like, the Hermitcraft people, like, or even Yogg's cast, definitely I never watched any of them. Um, but I actually watched a lot of, like, Aphmau when I was in, like, elementary <laughs> school. It was like, yeah. I was, I watched her all the time. I I actually didn't start watching YouTube until like four years ago. Oh really? Mhm. Mm but I mine consisted of Baron von Games, Dan TDM, and Laser Beam. <laughs> um. Yeah. And I'm I'm actually curious how long because just because this is like what I make videos and stuff on. How long have you been playing Minecraft for? Would you say? Ooh, roughly a year. Cause well. A year on PC. I've uh, let's see. I've had my PlayStation for like three years, but then I played on the play at PS3. So uh, I don't know, a while, like six to seven years. Okay, Maybe. okay. I was gonna say when you said you've about a year, I'm like, whoa, this is like a fresh Minecrafter. This is crazy. <laughs> about a year on PC because I remember the first server I was in was Copycraft, and like. I was just like, this feels so different. Like, where's my controller? Where's my trigger buttons? <laughs> yeah, I, I started... I, I my, my introduction to Minecraft was when I was pretty young. It was on um, Minecraft Pocket Ed Edition Demo was the first time I ever played Minecraft. Yeah, I, I was a PlayStation player, so I had uh, all the, almost all the games on PlayStation. Like, me and, me and my dad, PlayStationers. <laughs> I don't I've maybe played some PlayStation games before, but I don't actually know. Like the only console we really had growing up was a Wii. <laughs> Until Wii, Wii's were fun. Yeah. And then more recently we got like um a Switch and then my one brother keeps like buying different consoles off of like eBay and Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> 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 like old Xboxes and he probably has a PlayStation or two. I don't really know. I'd have to ask. Yeah. And what makes me but what makes me feel old is whenever I ask a person, you know what a Nintendo sixty four is and they're and they're like, No, I'm like I'm not that old. <laughs> I I grew up playing a, the Nintendo sixty four because my dad he used to um before I moved where I currently am, um, this was like I don't know, like eight years ago he had a carpet and um carpet company and he had a store and he would take me to work and i was i was a little youngling and yeah nintendo 64 there so i grew up playing the plastic soldier games all those helicopter games i mean like all those good games and i'm like these games are now are good but i'm mean, like i don't know if you can beat plastic soldiers <laughs> I actually have, oh, I, I don't play on it very much now, but growing up I put on a lot more. I have a um, Game Boy Advance, like SP is like the full name of it or whatever, but that was a hand-me-down from my cousin. I remember I had like three games. There was a Dora game, a Barbie game, and there was another game too that I played on when I was like a lot younger and then when I was probably like probably around 10 or 11 maybe I got um a Pokemon game for that and that was that was super fun I played on that like constantly and then I lost my Game Boy for a while and completely forgot like the context of where I was or what I was doing so but I didn't want to get rid of the save file because I put so much work into it so I have that sitting around somewhere with that one save file that I'll probably yeah. never finish <laughs> yeah I've never had a Game Boy I've never had any of those game cubes or whatever never like I mean I thought about asking about and to get one but I'm, I don't know I, I never got one yeah, uh, it's uh, it's amazing how long that battery could last. That that thing could yeah. like you charge it up and it's good for like a week. <laughs> it was the best thing for road trips. Sounds like a uh, Nintendo 
One of those flip Nintendos. Yeah. Of, like mobile. That's what uh, it is. Oh. Um. Uh, I I had a, a Nintendo like where you flip it up, you flip the screen, and I mean now that I pretty much just that was my gaming console for a while. I mean I played the Super Mario Bros. Um, it's pretty much all I played. Hmm. Yeah, the it's it's a handheld. I'll I'll send you uh well if I can track it down or just find a picture on the internet. I'll send you a picture later so you know what I'm talking about. Um. Yeah. So uh, now that you've been doing YouTube for like you know a few years, do you have like a different goal than when you started? Which I'm guessing your goal was just you know do YouTube, <laughs> which is pretty much as far as my goal ever went. Yes, I do indeed have a different goal. My my goal right now is just to... My goal is, overall, for YouTube is to get to where I can get like get paid and, you know, live off of money I make on YouTube because, like, YouTube is my dream job now. And then, on the side, I would also like to get into game development. And, like, between those, I mean, I can live a good life, you know, good family. Yeah. Get, get my family... No. In a good area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. I guess you mostly answered this earlier with talking about Dan TDM, but are there any, like, YouTubers slash, like, other, I don't know, media figures, you might call them, that you kind of, like, look up to or kind of try, like, you see their videos and be like, ooh, I want to, like, make stuff that people let the people like the same way that i like this you know what i mean yeah um dan tdm and probably cop it like i want to be like where you know like cop it where it's like the video and the way that you talk and how you make it exciting to pull the video to the farther and farther into the video to make and then make them enjoy it and like have them enjoy it like not make have them enjoy it yeah yeah make make enjoyable content yeah and content that actually gets watched not like the people who watch five seconds put a like make you feel good yeah exactly um is there anything else you wanted to mention or bring up or ask me before we get into that first question again. <laughs> mm, no, I do not believe so. All right. So, what what would you say your answer is? Would do you think that that ranch dressing can be considered a sauce? No, it will never be a sauce. And and never. what what is your argument for that? How can you defend that? I legitimately don't know if you've cut out I ha- I can't hear you if you're talking, by the way. Well, uh, I guess at least we got our answer in to the question, even if we didn't really get a chance to debate it. Oh, I might have just heard some noise. Hello? Hello? Hi? Uh, okay, sorry. I, I can hear you now. My Wi-Fi cut out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so now... <clears throat> My quality, voice quality, might not be good now because I'm using my phone. Yeah, it did. But, it did change a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um. How much? How much did I? Did you hear before? Um. I talk, uh, pretty much, you just said. You, you said it is not a sauce, and then I said, "Can you defend that?" And then there was just silence. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really good comedic timing, actually. <laughs> just literally staring at, like, I take it as a thought, like, you know, do yeah, I get offended from that? Like, what <laughs> So, yeah, what's, what is a, how, how do you defend saying that it's not a sauce? What's your argument because there? Range is, I mean, you can consider it a sauce in some areas but it's not i want to consider it a sauce because like you, for me i don't consider stuff that you put on your um 
on your food like uh, something I put a ranch on. Like a chicken sandwich. I I don't consider stuff that you put on your sandwich sauce as a topping. Would would you put, would you ever put ketchup on a sandwich? I don't like I don't like ketchup. Like would you ever put mustard had, on a sandwich? Of course. Is mustard a sauce? Absolutely not. <laughs> what, what 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 is something that you would say is a sauce then? Yum yum sauce. <laughs> <laughs> um, yum yum sauce. Uh, let's see. Um, like salsa, that'll be a sauce for me. Queso, <laughs> not as much salsa, but queso. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for sauces. <laughs> I feel like maybe we just have a different definition of what a sauce is then. Although I suppose oh, yeah, that's I, part of the I, question I, because there's, there's a lot of things I would consider a sauce. I feel yeah, like I really, feel like a dressing is like a subsection of sauce. You know what I mean? Yeah, but and also ranch does not belong on pizza. I'm just telling you that ranch, ranch does not is, belong on pizza. Ranch does belong on pizza. It's delicious, specifically pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza with ranch dressing is amazing i supported that thought whenever i was like eight i don't know that's i just can't do it anymore didn't you literally She's agree not... with me like two weeks ago on discord we had this whole discussion <laughs> i said i would have to try it again have you tried it a yet long time no then you I gave feel me like... a specific then you, you, you can't give me a specific place you, you can't what you gave me a specific place to go to get pizza and then put ranch on it. That is true. And soon enough, you will be able to get pizza from that place and put ranch on it. So we can get we can get the verdict on that eventually. But, like, the reason I didn't... I stopped eating is because it just became, like, more and more, like, not belonging on it. Like, it just does not feel like it goes on there anymore. And most of the time, you know, whenever I was shouting, I ate a lot of things that I, I would not at all consider eating anymore. <laughs> well, I you'll just have to Can try I, it again. <laughs> I, I will. Good. I'll good. try it. Three or four days, I'll be able to try it. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's, it's the best pizza. It is the best. It is the best pizza there is. I I have heard... I've, I have tried Casey's Pizza before. Casey's Pizza is good. Like, breakfast pizza? No, oh. nothing can be Casey's. Their their breakfast pizza is so good. Our FFA instructor, because um, we have F, we have our FFA chapter meetings in the mornings, but like before school, so our instructor will buy, like, two Casey's breakfast pizzas and, like, a gallon jug of chocolate milk <laughs> for us to all have for breakfast, like, and it's amazing. That's like, that's, like, something my mom would do because my mom savors Casey's breakfast pizza. It's so good. That, like, sauce, I'm not sure if it's, like, supposed to be cheese or something, but it's yellow and it's delicious. <laughs> it is. And, like, that is, like... One of the only things I can consider breakfast pizza that I would like with the egg on it. Otherwise, I just don't. I mean, I I don't like eggs very much. Like, it's I like eggs. It's just the texture of them. Whenever I like, whenever I eat it, the texture of them makes me gag, and so I end up feeling like I'm gonna throw up. But it's just the texture. Is your problem but like fried eggs or boiled eggs? Fried over easy is the only eggs I'll ever eat. Uh, I don't Unless know. it's poached. poached over easy, over easy is like crispy, right? Over easy is where you have the yolk that's still yolky. Ah, oh, I like those. Where you can dip your. Yes, but like I, I don't have a problem eating the inside of an egg. It's just like, or or like the outer parts of it. It's just the main center. I cannot eat that unless 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 it's my mom because she the way she makes her eggs it's good <laughs> and my grandma my grandma is like 
My grandma's the best at cooking. Like, Dude, my grandma's in this amazing area. at cooking. <laughs> she makes, she makes my, the best it, like pickled like, things. I have not tried too much pickled stuff. Oh, like I, <laughs> last time I tried something pickles, you're a pickle. Dude, I I grew up, I grew up thinking until like maybe three years ago, I thought that the like normal typical way to eat okra was pickled okra because my grandma's just always made pickled okra, so that's what I would always eat, until like relatively quite recently that I had like fried okra for the first time. I was like, huh, this is very different <laughs> from pickled okra. <laughs> I, I have not tried um, pickled okra. I don't, I, it's been like, I don't know. I haven't had okra itself in a while. Okra is just not, I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, but I guess. One thing that, Oh. One, one thing that I feel like a lot of people would consider weird is growing up, before I found ketchup disgusting, the only way I'd eat green beans is with ketchup. That is interesting. I don't think I've ever had green beans with ketchup. I think I've had green beans with barbecue sauce before, and that was pretty good, but I don't think I've ever had it with ketchup. Yeah, me and my, me and my sister, I mean, that's, that's like the only way. We ate green beans for, like, the longest time. <laughs> That's interesting, actually. I like them, I like, I like them salty. Or, like, um, garlicky. Like, at, at like, Chinese, yeah, I like, like, Asian, or, like, a like, Asian green beans are the best. The way that they make them, so that they're, like, crunchy, yeah. and, oh, they're so good. Yeah, I I prefer green beans if they're mixed with something else. Like I, I have a hard time eating green beans just alone. Like I'll eat it. It's just like I prefer it with something else, like a pasta, or like green bean casserole. Mm. My my great grandma, she made, she made the best green bean casserole. My mom makes green bean casserole every year for like Thanksgiving and for other stuff too. But like always, we have green bean casserole for Thanksgiving. She puts, like, the little crispy onion bits on top and stuff. Good stuff. We always, we always have garlic potatoes at, like, everything. Like, cheesy garlic potatoes for Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's, mm. that's, our, that's our, our must-have dish. You know, one thing that my grandma always makes for, like, holidays and stuff, especially, like, but, but especially, like, the colder season holidays, not as much, like, 4th of July or... I don't know what... I'm, I can't think of any other warm season holidays off the top of my head right now. But um, she makes purple cabbage. And it's so good. She puts like... I Apparently, normally, purple cabbage is way more like sour than necessarily sweet. But my grandma puts in like jam and jelly into hers. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, I cannot say that I've ever had purple cabbage. You'll have to fix that sometime. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, now that we have thoroughly wandered away from our ranch dressing question. Um, ooh, actually, before I do my outro, do you have any suggestions for what my my question for my next, for the next victim of the podcast could be? Um... How do you properly like? How do you put a toilet paper roll on its on on its holder? Like, oh, what's it going, that is like, a good one. Up or down? Like towards the wall or away from the wall? Yeah, there's obviously one way, but yes, there's obviously there's one way. way. But we'll we'll save that revelation. Only one way. We'll save that revelation for the next for the next episode. That is actually like that's yeah. that's a perfect question. Thank you for that. The question, the question has been going on for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, thank you, Megatron, for coming on for this podcast. It was very fun to chat with you. Indeed, it was very fun. And thank you to any viewer who has endured to all the way to the end. Very impressive of you. Very, uh, 
very, very, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I can't think of the video. Uh, video. Whew. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. But, uh, props to patriotic you. Possi hmm? Patriotic, possibly. Oh, based. That's it. Very based of you to stick around to the end of this video. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how patriotic would fit in that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was, patriotic just came into my mind. I'm like, patriotic. Well, you know, I guess patriotic and based could be almost almost considered <laughs> as synonyms. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so thanks to anybody who st stuck around. If you are interested in being on the podcast go ahead and you could leave a comment or send me an email or ask me on discord i probably have my discord linked somewhere in my channel but i might not i'll see about fixing that if i remember to if it's not already in there um i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys all again sometime hopefully bye